What's up tweenerheads welcome back to another video and today if you are new to the tweenerhead tennis family and you're new to the channel Hey, how's it going? My name's Phil. I'm the original tweenerhead and this is where we just talk about tennis in a less formal way Trying to get rid of that stigma that it's just a country club sport And I want you guys to join me in my tennis adventures So that way you don't miss any behind-the-scenes look of when I travel or just talking about tennis in general So if you're new hit that subscribe button make sure you're here so that way you don't miss any of the new videos that we're posting. International Women's Day just uh, was yesterday and I wanted to post a video about how bright the future is for the WTA because let's face it, Serena Williams isn't going to be around forever and we have a huge list, a huge list of women that are up in the ranks and that are going to be taking over the WTA very, very soon. I wanted to make this video so that way I get to let you guys know who to look out for when it comes to women on the tour and who's gonna be the next Grand Slam winner, who's gonna be the next top 10 player, who's gonna be the next number one. So my list, I did some research. Yes, I did research, yes, it's hard to believe. Best players that are under the age of 24 on the WTA and just listen to this list. We have Osaka, Sabalenka, Barty, Mertens, Kontovic, Kazakina, Ostapenko, Bencic, Vecic, and then Sofia Keenan. Combined, that list is half of those people are in the top 30. Actually, all of them are in the top 30. Kazakina to Vecic is 21, 22, 23, and 24. Keenan's the only one that's outside the top 30. And these are all people still under the age of 24, which is shocking, by the way. Combined, everyone that's... This is the top 10 list for the people under the age of 24. Osaka's won two Grand Slams. Ostapenko has won a slam. So that's three combined majors amongst these top 10 players under the age of 24, and a total combined of 22 titles. While all of these names sound familiar and sound like they've been on the tour for so long, it's probably because they've been playing pro tennis since they were 16, and most of them are still under the age of 24. It's shocking, yes I know, but these girls, these women I should say, taking the WTA by storm, and these are definitely going to be the next list of Grand Slam winners. If you don't ask me, look at their results for yourself and you'll understand why. While I've mentioned the under the age of 24, I just want to do a quick segment on American tennis. I would say a little bit saturated with a lot of professional tennis players, but out of all of those professional tennis players, there is a big and promising list for American women to replace Serena Williams and take over that queen bee spot for her. These are all girls under the age of 18 and below. I know. It's it's unreal, but we have, starting with the youngest, we'll go with Coco Goff, who signed a New Balance deal last year for a million dollars, making her one of the youngest people to be sponsored by, to be sponsored and get a million dollars at the age of 14. She's a millionaire at the age of 14. She's 14, she's already in the top 500, and just at the age of 14, that's a lot of pressure, but Coco Goff is said to be the next big thing, and she is definitely on the rise for that matter as well, with the helps of Patrick Mitroglou, Mortoglu, excuse me, I still have trouble pronouncing his name, with Patrick Mortoglu at her side and being a part of that academy, she's definitely have a she's definitely gonna have a bright future. Then we have Whitney Osigwe. I actually met Whitney while I was down in Houston last November, and she's definitely she's 16 right now. She's already in the top 200 as of right now and she's already making her mark on tour as well so katie mcnally is from ohio she's 17 years old she's ranked 220 in the world definitely a name to look out for she lost in the qualifiers at indian wells but she's bouncing back going from tournament to tournament and doing the right thing she won an event in illinois this past year so shout out to her for making great strides at just 17 years old and i think there's two more names. There's Sophia Keenan that I've already mentioned, who's already top 40 in the world. She's 33 in the world right now, and she's just 20 years old. And another name you guys should know is Claire Liu, who's 18, who's already in the top 150, and she's 18 years old. But Claire Liu is 18. She's already in the top 150. She's definitely a name to look out for. And it's very interesting because I, I didn't, she's a name that I'm not familiar with, but it's a name that WTA should be getting used to by now. So... 
though the American tennis looks great. That that list alone, I'm definitely missing some people. If I'm missing someone, comment below. Comment down below who I'm missing, please. <laughs> I would love to know who else is gonna make an impact on the WTA tour. That's just a list of American players. Imagine everyone else. Like I I didn't even mention Yastremska from the Ukraine. I didn't even mention Andrescu because Andrescu is already into the third round of the Indian Wells as of right now. Will beat Silbakova in the second round really easily. By the way, I'm missing a bunch of people but this is like the impact of just how many people are going to win and be successful on the WTA tour is insane there's the argument of whether the WTA tour is very weak or it's not consistent or players aren't consistent throughout the year it's because the depth of field on the WTA tour is so big that you can you have people that have dropped off in rankings but have so much veteran experience that you don't know how they're going to play. Like, the last nine slams, eight eight of them have been different people. Only until this past year, Osaka won the 2018 US Open, and then the 2019 Australian Open was the first time someone won back-to-back -back major. The WTA Tour has such a bright future in my mind that we're going to be seeing a lot of new names. We're going to be seeing a lot of different people winning. We're learning about different players. We're learning how each one competes, and I think it just causes more competition to arise on the WTA Tour, and that's what I love about it. Competition is great, and seeing this this amount of talented players just everywhere is fantastic, and it just shows you how tough tennis can be because everyone can play well. Everyone is good. They're here for a reason, period. I wanna know from you guys who I'm missing or who I should be looking out for on the WTA Tour. Make sure to comment down below who you think I'm missing or who's gonna be the next Grand Slam winner. If you guys did like this video, make sure to leave a big like on this video. Let's try to get this video to 10 likes. If you are new to the family, like I said before, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the action. If you want to check us out on all our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and check us out behind the scenes for tweenyourheadtennis.com for cool articles and cool merchandise like this hoodie. So I hope all of you are well. Hope to see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.